Hey guys, Brick Queen here with another Lego Harry Potter comparison for you guys. So right now, this is every version of the Gringotts Goblins that Lego has ever made. Um, now, I would really expect to see more in the future, um, but for the moment, this is every Gringotts Goblin. And I, I am specifically saying Gringotts Goblin because you guys know there is another goblin out there. Uh, but it's a professor um, and it's not uh, a Gringotts goblin. So these are the ones that are specifically for Gringotts. Um, so these first two, you can, you can tell the head mold is the same for the, the four over here. The first two came out in the original Gringotts set, uh, which was released back in 2002. And I, I own it, but I've actually never done a review on that set. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, but uh, some of you Lego collectors may, may be a little bit familiar with my problem. Um, this is a set that uh, was taken apart many years ago. Well, 2002, it's like 19 years old. So it was taken apart a long time ago and I'm having trouble locating a couple of the pieces to complete it. Um, I have been working on that that specific set I've been working on because I've been wanting to review the original Gringotts for a long time. Uh, but at, for now, I'm just going to show you what the two original goblins look like because um, you had two in that set. And um, now these are, they don't really name these. They're just Gringotts goblins. Um, but these are the two originals. And I actually really like their torsos. I think they're kind of neat. Um, and I like that they're different. You know, one has a, an open coat and one has a closed coat. Um, and the, the print is different on them. Um, this one, you know, his little vest underneath his jacket looks textured. I like it. Um, I like that they put a little effort into it like that. Because these are both 2002. So when you switch up to these, more of you probably recognize these two uh, because these were in uh, the next Gringotts that they came out with, which unless I'm mistaken, is the only other Gringotts that they've made, uh, which was part of the 2011 Diagon Alley. Now, while I do like that they, they changed the, the skin color on them, the skin color looks a bit better. Um, they didn't, you know, they didn't color the eyes. Uh, they didn't color the hair, anything like that. So they still, they, they look a little, a little bit odd. Maybe borderline creepy. <laughs> um, but one thing that, you know, I think is, a, well, one thing. <laughs> Another thing I think is a little bit disappointing about this pair is that the torsos are the same. You know, in 2002, they gave each one a different torso. 2011, uh, they gave them the same torso, just different little legs. So kind of kind of saddened by that a little bit. <laughs> I wish they would have put a little bit more effort in there. But that's what we got. Now, so those were 2011. And then this is 2020. And you guys know this is obviously is a very specific Gringotts Goblin. Um, this is Grip Hook. This is the one that actually took Harry Potter uh, down to the vault and all. Um, and they, they rode that kind of a uh, mine cart, you know, down the, the thing and, and all. Um, now, interesting story, actually. Uh, if you look back at like the pictures of the old sets, they show this one being in that little uh, that little cart that I was talking about. So it's almost like they were trying to say maybe this was supposed to be Grip Hook uh, back in the day, but they, to my knowledge, I don't think they ever labeled him that way. Um, it was just another Gringotts Goblin, but just kind of interesting because um, I think that was kind of, it was kind of intended to be that way, but not specifically labeled that way. But, I mean, I don't think there's any question that this is definitely the best looking one um, because this is, this is 2020. So the, the years go 2002, 2011, 2020. Um, 
and the printing on this version is great. This, like I said, it's specifically grip hook, um, but he's got great printing all around and a great uh, little hair piece with the ears attached to it. Um, no second face, but the others, you know, the others have molded heads, so obviously they can't have, you know, a second face or anything. Um, and none of these have back printing either, by the way. Um, I guess uh, <laughs> I was just kind of going off assumptions. You probably knew that already. But anyway, I was just curious what you guys thought uh, about all of these. And like I said, I'm going to keep hunting the pieces that I... I haven't been able to locate from my original Green Gods. I know they're here, but um, you know how, you guys know how pieces sometimes just kind of, it's like they just vanish. It's like pieces just go into a black hole and and then you have kind of a, a Lego fit and you just don't know where <laughs> those pieces are. So that's kind of what I'm going through with my original Green Gods. Um, but just know that that is, some, that is kind of a, a side project that I am slowly working on and one day I will find the rest of my pieces and do that review for you guys. But in the meantime, I want to hear from you guys what you think about uh, these so far. And um, as soon as I do rebuild my original Gringotts, I will also be able to do the comparison to the 2011 Gringotts. I think it'll be interesting. Um, they're completely and totally different. They could not be more different. And I'm still hoping that one day we'll see a new Gringotts, but the 2011 ones are awesome. So even if we don't get another Gringotts for a while, um, the 2011 Gringotts was great. I, for one, am still waiting to get the, uh, the um, Diagon Alley that came out last year. I don't know. I, I don't know if I've actually mentioned it, but I did order it. Um, and you guys probably know it's been on back order for quite some time from Lego. So one of these days I'll get that one in too. But for now, this is what we got. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I've told you guys several times, I love doing comparisons and collections and things like that. Uh, so if you have any requests, it definitely doesn't have to be Harry Potter. That's just probably what I have the most of, but I I also have a ton of Star Wars. Like, you guys would probably be shocked at the amount of Star Wars I have. Um, I actually have a lot of old Lego Star Wars sets that I haven't reviewed even. Um, I need to rebuild those as well. So, anyway, um, <laughs> let me know your thoughts. What's your, what is your favorite goblin up here? Or, uh, besides Grip Hook, you like any of those let me know in the comments and if you have any requests let me know and i will see you guys next time